Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks with a bit of a different type of video today. I'm going to go to a supermarket and pick up five or six of my favorite products in this country. Then I'm going to sit down and try them and show you guys why I like these products. Now today's video is sponsored by NordVPN and I'll tell you a little bit more about NordVPN during the video. So uh, let's go. Now I'm on my way to the supermarket to buy these products, some of my favorite food products here in Spain. Some of them will be familiar to you, some of them won't. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you guys some of the better products, at least in my opinion, when it comes to food in this country. Now I'm on my way to a fairly big supermarket. It's called a hypermarket here in Spain. Basically they have everything, so I'm not gonna have any trouble buying these products, I uh, don't think, even though there is a transport strike on at the moment, and some products could be in short supply, I should be able to get them in this supermarket because so this supermarket basically sells everything. To get an idea of what this supermarket is like, let's say for example if you take an Australian supermarket like Woolworths or Woolies and you put it together with a big W uh, all in the same spot, that is what we will have here today or that's what the supermarket will be like. Now if you're living here in Spain there is a chance that you will be familiar with these products but if you're not living in Spain and you're interested in Spanish food these are some products that uh, I recommend you try if you can get your hands on them uh, overseas. I imagine that some products will be available overseas, some won't because maybe a meat product won't be exportable, but uh, hopefully the rest will be. And then as I said, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna try the products, and uh, I'm gonna do a tasting test and try to describe why I enjoy these products so much. So. Uh, Let's go to the supermarket. All right, so at the supermarket now, so let's go and see if I can get these foodstuffs. Okay, so the shopping's done, and the good news is that I managed to get my hands on all of the products that I was looking for. So now we move on to the best part of this video, at least for me that is, when I get to sit down and try out these products. So uh, let's go. Okay, so now time for the moment that you have been waiting for. Time to get stuck into these lovely Spanish products that I have in front of me. As I said, some of my favorite supermarket products in this country. We have over here, the famous Spanish virgin olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. We can see the brand there, although that brand is not sponsoring this video. We can see Spanish cheese, not Manchego cheese. I'll introduce the brand in a minute. We can see here mussels. We also have here white asparagus, and we have a type of sausage which is called fuet. And last but not least, we have a product which is called a torta, and it is a product from the south of Spain, and that's what we will have for dessert. But all of the other things that we have here, more or less tapitas, okay? Now the first product that we have, and this is a product that I absolutely love, extra virgin Spanish olive oil. We can see from the bottle that it is the Arbequina variety. There are various types of olives that are used to make this olive oil, but this is probably the most popular product here in Spain, and Spanish people use liters and liters of this product on a weekly basis. You can use it for cooking, you can use it to add to salads, and it is a very healthy alternative. And what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna get a bit of bread, I'm gonna dip the bread into the olive oil, and this is an absolute treat. Let's have a taste. Fantastic, flavorsome, extra virgin olive oil. And as I said, you can use it for many, many reasons, but I like to dip a bit of bread into it before I have something to eat, a bit of a snack. And Spanish extra virgin olive oil, definitely one of my favorite products in this country. Now products two and three are both on the same plate here. We've got Spanish cheese, a cheese called Bofad, not the typical Manchego cheese. This cheese comes from the north of Spain, from the province of Valladolid, I believe, so it's not Manchego cheese, but a very, very tasty cheese indeed. And you can find it in most supermarkets here in Spain and probably also internationally. And the other product on this plate is this one here, which is called Regania. And this comes in very handy to eat your cheese with. If you don't wanna have something a little bit heavier like bread, for example, you have one of these, a dried piece of bread, let's say, and uh, very, very tasty. It's got a slight hint of sesame in it as well and uh, goes down an absolute treat with a product like cheese. So what I normally do, have a piece of, a slice of cheese like this. 
a smooth, creamy cheese, very tasty. It's a blended cheese made with sheep's milk and cow's milk. Very, very tasty, very, very creamy. And of course, you accompany it with one of these reganas. And you've got a simple, easy tapper that everybody would like. Now we'll take a break in the video here to talk about and thank the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. If you have never heard of a VPN, it stands for Virtual Private Network and it will protect your internet connection and online privacy. If you have a VPN, it means you can use the internet safely because your data is encrypted and your online identity protected because your IP address is hidden. So if you use public Wi-Fi like I do when I'm out and about traveling, a VPN is an absolute must. A VPN is also useful at home because you can use the internet anonymously and your browsing history, usernames, passwords and bank details are kept secure. And for content lovers, having NordVPN will allow you to access websites in other countries that might be geo-blocked here in Spain. For example, 10Play Australia, BBC iPlayer and many others. All you have to do is connect to a server in the country where you want to access the content and away you go. You can use NordVPN on up to six devices, so you can have it on your phone, your tablet, your desktop or your laptop computer all at the same time. And it works on both Apple and Android devices. Now if you want to check out NordVPN for yourself, click the link in the description box below to get the two year plan with an exclusive deal plus one month free. It's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. So click the link below, take advantage of this special offer and start your safe internet experience with NordVPN. Now back to the video. Now the next one we're going to tuck into is this one here and this is probably my favorite product here in Spain, my favorite food product and it's canned mussels. Here they call them mejillones en escabeche, a very nice brine mix that they put the mussels into, Galician mussels from the northwest of Spain. Very, very tasty. And you uh, put one on top of a crisp or a chip. And a bit of a story to this product here or this uh, food. This was one of the first tapas that I ever had here in Spain. When I first came to Spain 22 years ago, my girlfriend's mother uh, gave me a glass of beer and she also gave me this exact tapa. Mussels with crisps or chips as we call them in Australia and uh, absolutely sensational. So tinned or canned mussels, as I said, from the northwest of Spain in brine, plump, tasty mussels. And uh, as I said, you put one on top of a chip uh, or you uh, put one on top of one of these reganas and you've got a very tasty little tapa indeed. In fact, so tasty are they, I might just have another one. So uh, hold on for that. Now the next product on the menu today is this one here, white asparagus. I'd never seen these before I came to Spain, but very popular here. A lot of people like to have them as a, a type of entree, especially on important occasions. You can get fatter ones than these. I've gone for the thin variety, and this product comes from the north of Spain also, from the Navarra region, which is up there in the north, very close to the Basque country. Now you can eat these with your hands, but I've got a fork here just in case, so I'll pick it up. and. Uh, Very, very tasty, sweet, white asparagus, and as I said, a delicacy here in Spain, normally for special occasions, but they're not that expensive. I think the can cost me around two euros 25, so not that expensive, and uh, definitely worth trying, and again, one of my favorite products here in Spain. I'll just finish this one off. Mm, very tasty, and uh, some people like to dip it in mayonnaise or have a little bit of mayonnaise on the side of the plate, but uh, I like them on their own, and uh, as I said, one of my favorite food products here in this country. And the final savory snack that we're going to look at today is this one here. This is a product called Fuet, and it comes from Catalonia, Fuet, F-U-E-T. It's a type of small good, as we would say in Australia, or a type of sausage. Uh, similar to chorizo, salchichon, which is another popular sausage here, but this is a lot smaller and a lot harder. And uh, again, one of my favorite snacks 
in this country on a Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, you're sitting down before lunch, glass of beer, glass of wine, which is something that I don't have. I've overlooked that unfortunately, but again, this product here, very, very tasty indeed. And if you see it in a Spanish supermarket or if you see it in another supermarket around the world, I recommend that you try it. So uh, let's try. A distinct taste, not easy to describe. It's not similar to chorizo because chorizo has the famous pimenton or paprika. And uh, as we can see here, this product doesn't, but it's a cured sausage, fuet from Catalonia. Very, very tasty. I recommend you try it. So we'll go through the products that I've tried up until now. The first one was the extra virgin olive oil. Very, very tasty. Dipped a small piece of bread in that. Fantastic as a tapper. The second product I tried was this queso or cheese, boffard cheese, B-O-F-F-A-R-D. I think it's spelled, or maybe only one F. I'm not 100% sure at the moment. Very creamy cheese, not very strong, but as I said, it's a mixed cheese, a blended cheese, sheep's milk and cow's milk, and uh, a good alternative to Manchego, which uh, has seen a price increase in the last few years. So a very tasty cheese from the north of Spain also. And uh, with this product here, which is also a product from Andalusia called Regania, not sure how they spell it, Regania, but uh, you have this with your cheese, a dry biscuit type thing, savory biscuit, very, very tasty indeed. The next product were these uh, mussels here, canned mussels or tinned mussels in brine. My favorite product in Spain, as I said before, put it on top of a chip or on top of one of these regañas, and you've got yourself a fantastic snack to have with a glass of beer or a glass of wine before you have your lunch. Then I went on to these white asparagus, very typical here in Spain for uh, popular occasions, celebrations. At Christmas time, you often see them on the table. But uh, as I said, you can also get fatter ones than these ones here. And the last savory product that we looked at was this one here, a, uh, a sausage called fuet, a dried sausage. Very, very tasty. Not similar to the more popular chorizo or salchichon. Actually, it is quite similar to salchichon. Salchichon is a white chorizo, normally a little bit fatter, but this one here quite thin, harder, and very, very tasty. And uh, my son absolutely loves fuet. And the final product we're going to look at today is a sweet product. We've had one, two, three, four, five savory products, and uh, now we're going to have a sweet product here which also has become one of my favorites over the last few years. Now this product is also from the south of Spain. It's called Torta de Aceite and I was introduced to this product by my girlfriend's mother or my mother-in-law if you like a few years ago. I can't remember exactly when but four maybe five years ago she used to have one of these with her coffee every afternoon. I tried one and uh, it absolutely blew me away. A fantastic product. A little bit sweet, a little bit uh, savory at the same time. It's got a taste of uh, aniseed in it as well, and uh, a wonderful product if you want to sit down with it, maybe for your breakfast, maybe for an afternoon snack, morning tea, afternoon tea. Very, very tasty product, and I highly recommend this one. Now, you can find different varieties of this product. You can find home brand, but this is the one that I prefer, Ines Rosales, Tortas de Aceite, and I believe they come from the south of Spain. So we'll open it up. As we can see here, it's a, what they call here a torta. And it's a flat piece of dried bread-like substance, I think, with sugar on top. So we'll break it off quite crispy. It's a little bit savory, a little bit sweet, and it's got that hint of aniseed, which uh, goes down a treat, in my opinion. Have a little bit more because I absolutely love these. Andalusian tortas de aceite. And if you see these in the supermarket, I definitely recommend trying them. So there we have it. Some of my favorite food products in this country, Spain, starting off with the olive oil, cheese, regaña, mussels, white asparagus, fuet, and the torta de aceite, which uh, is one of my favorite sweet, savory snacks at the moment. So if you come across any of these products in the supermarket next time you're there, whether you're here in Spain or maybe in your local supermarket, you can find some of these Spanish products. I definitely recommend you try them.
On that note, I'll wrap the video up. Questions and comments, please leave them in the section below. Let me know what your favorite Spanish products are, whether you like any of the ones that we have seen today, or if there are some different ones that you would like to add to the conversation. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. I'll see you in the next one. Hasta luego.